Hello, you my name is Krinos, and welcome to another Memory of McNair. Now, if you remember the last um, video, we beat the Patriots 20 to 17, and then two videos ago, we beat the 14 13. Now, let's go look at the team. Steve McNair, Devontae Freeman, Rob Gronkowski, the newest addition to the team. We also have Jeremy Purnell. And on defense, all we have is Sam Madison, but we really need to pick it up there. But let's go ahead and jump in to week three, and hopefully beat the Jacksonville Jaguars. Seems like it'll be an easier game than it was last week against the Patriots. Okay, here we go. Hopefully going to beat Blake Portals and the uh, Jaguars. So your Blake Bortles stepping back. I almost stole a pick there, but he didn't turn around. He's trying to let it bounce on his shoulder. So now Tool is going to get around the edge and going to get Blake Bortles. And it's going to be a fumble. And we're going to get TJ Yeldon for a loss of nine there. So Blake Bortles fumbling the ball. It was a very nice play by us. Blake Bortles is going to get it across the middle. And that's going to be a 3 and out. So, 4th and 7. Jaguars are obviously going to punt here. Jameson Crowder is back. Ready to try to get some good yards off the punt. But I'm going to get like 10 yards. So, here's where I don't know what to do. I'm tempted to just give it to Gronk. Even though, yeah, Gronk's blocking on this play and then he goes out but it's Gronk make the first guy miss and he's not going to get off that guy but that was a very good play the goal is to successfully truck somebody and that's not a truck that was a oh, oh that was a truck that should not have been a truck okay I'm not complaining but here, you know, Gronk is definitely going to be the main target right now considering we don't have any good wide receivers. Um, Gronk is really the only person I can catch as of right now. And, like, right here, I would use, uh, like, used to, I'd be afraid to chunk it to Gronk. There, I wasn't. I get hit as I'm in the process. Here, I don't want to punt. don't want to get good punting yards. And they're hit as he throws it, but it's Gronk. And that is the main reason I picked Gronk up is because it plays like that. And I like having a tight end that he's not like you don't have to throw it up to him. Here I thought I could beat the defender and get in for the get in the end zone. But ultimately that's not what happened. With nine seconds left to the first quarter. I'm gonna try to scramble one with McNair. And we're going to get us two upgrades by the McNair touchdown. And also, five seconds to the second quarter. I'll see when we're on defense. TJ Young had a very long run there. Didn't really want to put that in, but, you know, he trucked three of my guys. And I had to start the recording somewhere. So I did it in the middle of that. So here it's first and ten. One second. Okay, sorry about that. My dog was barking in his sleep. So, yeah, it's kind of weird. But here, Simmons is going to... No, he's not going to bring TJ Yeldon down. TJ Yeldon, Yeldon is... Oh, dang, I thought they were running this thing. Carson down. Oh, no. C, and if I wouldn't have brought Carson down, he would have had him. Very bad move on my behalf. Whoa, I did not mean to press that. There, there we go, though, you know. We didn't get the sack, but we did still cause him to lose two yards. And here he's going to toss to the yard, and Jacob's going to get stuck. Scobert got him. Some person to him. Wait, we'll turn it off. TJ Yeldon. He's only going to get a game of like two or three yards. 
We have two yards. And right here, Blake Royal is going to keep it. And there's Madison. Break and attack. Well, and that's exactly what I'm talking about. That's three upgrades on the day so far. So Steve McNair stepping back. I'm just going to let one deep to Rob Gronkowski. And Gronk is going to drop it. So, you know, I'm starting to realize Gronk doesn't catch everything. He, he can catch, granted. But he doesn't catch everything. But he is definitely my number one target. Even though I usually don't really throw to my tight ends. Um, with the receiving core we have, Gronk is definitely the number one receiver. And the game froze. I'll be back when it, uh, probably after this play. Okay, guys. It unfroze. I'm just going to show you what happened. I have to go all the way down and show you what happened. Right here, I just passed it to Hammond instead of Gronk. And it was an 11 yard gain. It was a solid first down. Um, now I'm also going to run Strong Flood. And I do believe, yeah, Gronk will go short, which is what I want. I want to go to Gronk. Dang it, that defender was right on him. I should have waited to see what would happen. 16 seconds. I just want to cork a long pass and try to get something off. Here, Gronk does go around the middle, which might be good, might be bad. Oh, bad. that was a terrible pass. By Steve McNair. But on third and nine, 11 seconds left. Hell Mary. We all know who I'm throwing to. And Gronk gets it. Touchdown. That's what I'm talking about. And I'll be back in a second. Okay, guys, the first half is over. And it's currently 14 to nothing. We have the lead. Let's go ahead and go look at stats. So far, we have 6 rushing yards, they have 48, we have 122 passing yards, they have 23, and yeah, let's just, we still need 78 passing yards, we're not hitting the 200 rushing I mean, we could, okay, look, I need 72, I'm just going to call for a catch, if I could get a touchdown from where we're at with nothing but passing, that gives Steve that gives Steve McNair over two hundred. That's your Gronk. Dang it! Hold on to the ball, Gronk. Here I'm gonna sing Gronk right there and try to get him. Steve McNair almost throwing it too slow. That was almost very bad. Let's just run another Hail Mary. And chunk it up to Gronk. Definitely my favorite person to throw to. That's here. Gronk. Breaking a tackle and getting out there. Now let's go see how many passing yards is Steve McNair. 194. So six more passing yards. And then we can work on running. Because we want to get a lot of upgrades today about this game. And there you go. Now we can start working on the run game. So let's start out with a scramble by Steve McNair trying to get into the end zone for two upgrades. Oh crap. And I'm Gronk. Losing a lot of yards there because I accidentally switched into Gronk. Okay. Steve McNair, go. Dang. Okay, let's do this one. Spread halfback option. Steve McNair, you're Michael. No, you're not. Oh, crap. A touchdown is better than a field goal. Steve McNair, just chunk it to Gronk. Should I edit that out? I think I'll be back. No matter how bad I want to get that out. Guess I'll be back. And I missed Blake Bortles. Wow, I, I've forgotten how to play Madden, guys. <laughs> right here. 
Okay, guys. Um, I'm gonna have to learn how to play Madden. Okay, so it's are two very bad whatevers, I guess you could call it. We're out and we're ready to make a difference, and I accidentally pressed by catch. So, great start. Great. So let's do this play. Didn't even read it. Okay, Devontae Freeman. Okay, I see you. Chips blunt dive. Yeah, this is the play I just ran. Let's just run it again. Oh, Devontae. Devontae Freeman. Go, go. And that is a touchdown, ladies and gentlemen. This Devontae Freeman is a beast. It's going to be diving in the end zone. And, yeah, guys, um, I don't know if I'm going to leave it in the video or not, but by now y'all should know one of the players I'm looking to get, but I'll be back. Okay, I guess I'll put some defense up in the fourth quarter, but I'm going to try to put less of the game in now because we're already 11 and a half minutes in, and, yeah, I think. I can go up to 30 minutes, but usually if you see it goes like 20 minutes long, I just get to the end playing a lot. But if it's like 10 or 11 minutes, I'll watch the whole thing. So that's the reason I like to keep my ears around. 15 to 18 minutes, somewhere in there. Um, sometimes a little bit less. As here, just a terrible point, like... That was awful. Let's just run a pitch to Devontae Freeman. Gonna get a block. Not gonna get a block. That was perfect. <laughs> Turn a half back dive. Give it to him. And wow, guys. That, what a way to shut down my run game. And now Steve McNair stepping back, going to Gronk, and there you go, there's the first down. If you shut down my running play, my running game, I'll just go to Gronk. So there's really no safe thing to do. And like once I once we get good receivers, it's gonna be amazing. You know what? I don't even. Let's just play with 25% battery. McNair, faking it to Devontae Freeman. And boom, Rob Gronkowski in double coverage. And that's going to be deflected. Okay, here we go. Half back gut. Oh my gosh, guys. I swear my charger is not working. Okay. Devontae Freeman with some solid blocks. Get off that tackle and he's going to be brought down. And this game's all but over. Um, I don't think the Jaguars can come back from it now. And, you know, I did not expect to be undefeated this early in the season, especially when I saw that we played the Patriots. I thought we were going to lose that game. Steve McNair is going to get down. Um, McNair has only went in for one rushing touchdown. You gotta keep that in mind. Um, could we make it two? And we just made it two. So let's rack up the points. And I'll be back at the end of the game. Okay. There we go. That's that's the best game all season. Hands down. I didn't look at stats. Okay. Here we go. So, Steve McNair, I know, had over 200 passing yards. That's two. He had two, okay, wait, let me open later. So, we had 28 points at 7, 14, 20, 28. So, that's 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, minus 1, no, and then that other one's 7, 8. So, I'm glad on the safe side, don't know exactly how many yards Devontae Freeman had, but 8 
upgrades. There's two things I want to look at. And yes. So. Here we go. A bronze to a silver. A silver to a gold. And a gold to an elite. Under 50k. Patrick DeMarco. That other fullback's highest overall fullback. And you can get it for cheap. So Patrick DeMarco is now in the lineup. And now we only have five upgrades. But the next guy is pretty obvious. He is somebody I already have. And I really want to utilize him. And we have five upgrades to do, do it with. So Probo. And this will be for the Chris Hash Jr. So a five. That's a go to a silver. A silver to a gold. A go to an elite. An elite under 50k. You know, really over 50k and really over 100k. So 100k. Please. Oh, crap. How much did he go for? What? It's because he's a 92. I thought it was a 95. That tells me everything. <laughs> um, see, the cheapest one's a hundred and so this card goes for a hundred and fifty K. So, I'll leave you that. Okay. One second. I'll be back. Oh, no, I guess I'll leave you in. So, for Patrick DeMarco, it was a uh, um, bronze to silver, silver to gold, and elite. Okay, so that looks five. So, that'd be a silver, uh, bronze to silver, silver to gold, a gold under, under 100k, or 50k, a gold under 100k, and a gold under, and an elite under 150. So it means I could, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and pick, get the Bradley Roby upgrade. And that's all she wrote, because that's all we're going to be able to do, guys. I'm going to put Sam Madison on the other side of the field. And there's the first defensive upgrade in quite some time. Um, All the upgrades have really been on offense. But, um, yeah, guys. This is the team we got now. We got the Patrick DeMarco. Um, great card. Steve McNair. Obviously at quarterback. And then Devontae Freeman. We got the Jeremy Purnell at O-Tackle. And then this is what looking like on defense. Thank you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.